Welcome to circuitbelt.com. Today in this video I am going to show you yet another IKEA smart home device uh, IKEA sensor. This sensor is I believe called Bad Ring and it's a water detection sensor primarily used for indoor to detect water leakage for example in a in your washing area near to a washing machine or something like that and when it detects leakage of water when it detects water from the base of it and produces a sound it can be connected to as said as notified here it can be connected to IKEA smart home as well so it should be able to notify you on on your cell phone or something like that it's zigbee compatible it's zigbee compatible let's take it out and we'll see how does it look this is the sensor and on the back you have these two contact pads this is where it detects the water this is the battery compartment lock and unlock option I believe it opens from the front and this is a speaker output or buzzer output it should be producing a loud sound when it detects water let's unlock it and we will see how does it look so this is how both of the part looks and you can see this there's a black color rubber gasket there and the speaker grill has membrane on it to prevent water getting into the device this is where the buzzer is connected and the tone is supposed to come out of here I believe this is again programming adapter this is the battery lock you see and pairing button and this is, a, this is the compartment for AAA battery let's turn it on this time and I'll install a battery there you see there was a red LED indicated I believe it's on now and I do not know if you need, really need to detect water or maybe I'll just touch these so when I touch these two terminals it's enough of contact to activate it let's show you yeah so this is how it does that's it now we will tear it apart and we will see what makes it tick how does it look from inside this is a little bit challenging tear down because you can see there is no crease or there is no screw there or maybe there is a screw under these feet I am not sure we have to we have to we have to remove these feet to find out if there is a screw under those feet I do not see it is just at our feet or maybe I will just take it apart and we will find out no I do not see anything maybe on this one same stuff there are no screws in the bottom maybe if you see very closely there is a lock going down there and maybe we will be able to get in from the side and pray it open from the side get my Victorinox and try to yeah so it was as easy as that and uh, this is it that's it this is the internals of, of this IKEA bartering sensor these two pads they connect to these spring contacts to be able to get access to the external environment because, because this whole sensor is pretty much sealed with this rubber gasket so to be able to access the environment safely these two metal pokes these two metal pegs uh, they are protruding out of the enclosure and they make contact to these two spring contacts let's zoom in on the PCB it has few devices this is the MG21 from Silicon Labs this is the multi protocol SOC I believe there is a inductor there to be able to to be able to boost 1.2 volts from this single AAA battery to be able to use here for some purpose because of course they will not these I see they will not be able to work on 1.2 volts coming from a single AAA so they are definitely boosting it there so there are two diodes as well and there are two more SMD parts and I believe these two diodes they are sitting right next to the both of the spring contacts so they are there for this ESD protection they may be normal diode or TVS diodes specifically meant for ESD protection and these two parts we will analyze their part number we will look into it what these part numbers are and we will find out what those these things do First, but first let's take the PCB out of the thing and we will see if there is something on the back as well Thank you. 
So now the PCB is lifted. Let's flip it. You can see on the plastic this is the place this is the place for button and grill for buzzer grill for buzzer places for programming and if we flip the PCB we will see the exact same stuff so this is definitely the pairing button and this is the programming place along with the TX, RX and everything else so this little part as it marks Q2 and this is also marked Q3 the most of them most likely both of them are going to be switching element I have googled and one AM is a general purpose NPN transistor and this is a MOSFET and the part number of this 1AM marked part is MMBT 3904 3904 is a very generic transistor it's used for multiple purposes I don't know what it is used here for and let's look at the back and same thing part marked with 1M 3904 transistor so this is it this is what uh, you see inside a Badring IKEA sensor this was a quick video I hope you enjoyed it. You can visit my website www.sakedlight.com for high resolution images.